Maria. Talk to me. I'm in position now, and I'm ready to go dark. OK, I'll go dark in about 30 seconds. All right, sounds good. As darkness falls, Ronnie and Maria are preparing to launch a night investigation surrounding the mysterious tree structure. Tonight, the game plan is we're going to go no holds barred. We're bringing everything we have. I'm going to be positioned by the tree structure with a thermal camera. OK, I have the IR camera up ready to go. OK, I've got my eyes on you from up here. All right, sounds good. Maria will be up on that ravine with a thermal to capture any type of movement. She's going to help be my eyes and ears. She's also going to have a recording and blast the sound that we've been using and having some great success. Over a week ago, the team played a recording of a possible Kentucky Bigfoot howl, which appeared to draw several large unidentified creatures closer. Tell me you heard that. Tonight, they hope the tactic will have a similar result near the tree structure. Ronnie, do you recognize that sound? We just got a tree knock. I heard it clearly, whatever that was. Yeah, tree knocks always happen when Bigfoot is around. It's believed that Bigfoots communicate by hitting branches against the trees. And every time I've heard one, weird stuff comes with it. Ronnie, I'm not seeing anything moving. But I'm going to play the call back again now. Sit tight. Roger that. two sounds now. That sounded closer to me. I'm yep. scanning to your left, scanning to the left. The hair on the back of my neck is standing up like crazy. There's electricity in the air. I can't describe it, but this is crazy. What just happened? I just saw something flash very quickly on the thermal. My camera just died. It just got extremely cold around me right now. The forest just went dead silent. I just got the chills. I feel eyes on me. Listen. I got branches popping. I got something coming towards me now. Well, whatever it is, it's hiding from my thermal. There's definitely something around here. I'm not picking anything up. That's weird because I hear something coming closer and closer and I can't see <laughs> Whatever it is, it's getting closer. Here it comes. Can you hear it? I heard something out there. I have a strange light in front of me. Can you see it? I'm seeing something. What is that? No idea. I have eyes moving towards me. Here it comes. Oh my god. We got company. In the dead of night, Ronnie and Maria are experiencing what could be a close encounter with a creature in the woods. I have a light in front of me that is going crazy. It's like dancing. What? A white light directly in front of me. I'm going to point to it now. You should be able to pick it up on the therm. Yeah, something's going crazy on the thermal now. The trees are all lighting up and flashing on my screen right now. Very weird. Do you still have the heat signature? Oh my god. It's gone. Do you still hear something close to you? Negative. I don't understand being able to pick up a heat signature on a thermal camera. 
and then just have it vanish. It's a really weird experience. On top of that, we're hearing sounds. Ronnie is hearing footsteps coming towards him. And I've got all the right tools in front of me to see whatever is making these sounds. And I can't. All right, let's try something else. We get our flashlights, try to find out whatever it is around here. Copy that, Ronnie. Let's really search this area. Any prints down there? I don't see anything. There was absolutely no trace that anything had been there. Given all those sounds that we heard, this is something that I find really difficult to rationalize. That was the strongest evidence that I saw that something different was out there, and then it was just gone. There's nothing here. Damn it. Gonna set up the thermals here. I got a pretty good vast area around me. So any animals walking in this area is gonna stand out like a spotlight. With just hours until dawn, Russell is investigating an open field at the base of Pine Mountain, adjacent to where his trail cam was destroyed. I don't know what attacked my trail cam, but I feel like something big is signaling or marking this territory. It could have been a bear, it could have been a mountain lion, or it could have been what I've been looking for. I found a really nice clearing not far from where this took place. I feel like there's a lot of activity through here. So I'm using my thermals, and I'm hoping to get a sign of whatever it was. Oh, I see something small moving. The smaller animal down here moving around. That means food for an apex predator. It appears to be a fox. It's curious enough to poke his ears up. The fact that it's comfortable to be out moving around is a sign. Nothing has scared it away. Did you hear something off the side here? Oh. There's something over there moving. Wow. That's a rabbit. But there's something taller right here. What is that? I'm not sure. Just gonna watch it for a second. It's gonna come out. It has to come out of the trees. It's a deer. 